Have you ever wondered how the process of making cars could impact the future of drone technology? Well, the Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL for short, has taken an innovative step in that direction. They're exploring the use of common car manufacturing techniques to develop affordable autonomous drones that can be mass-produced. Imagine a world where drones are built on a modular platform, not unlike the chassis of a car. This platform, or chassis, can serve as a foundation for various drone models. This means that instead of crafting each drone model from scratch, we can have a base design that can be adapted to the specific requirements of different missions. The Aerospace Systems Directorate of AFRL recently flew a General Atomics-made XQ-67A drone, showcasing the potential of this platform-sharing concept. This approach is not just about streamlining drone construction, it's also about making drones more cost-effective, enabling the creation of entire fleets to support crewed fighters. This platform-sharing concept aims to revolutionize drone construction and reduce costs. Let's dive into a real-world example of this concept in action. Picture this. A cutting-edge drone, the General Atomics-made XQ-67A, soaring through the sky. But it's not just any drone. It's constructed with a chassis, reminiscent of carmaker models, a platform-sharing concept that's revolutionizing the world of autonomous aircraft. This drone is more than a machine. It's a testament to innovation, the embodiment of efficiency and flexibility in design. But what does this mean in practical terms? Well, the XQ-67A is part of a new breed of drones known as collaborative combat aircraft. These unmanned aerial vehicles are designed to work seamlessly with crewed fighters, carrying out a wide range of missions autonomously. They're the wingmen of the future, ready to provide support in the most challenging situations. And the XQ-67A is just the beginning. Its successful flight is a powerful proof of concept, demonstrating that this carmaker model approach isn't just feasible, it's a game changer. With the ability to build different drone models on the same chassis, it opens up a world of possibilities for cost-effective mass-produced autonomous aircraft. The XQ-67A's flight demonstrates the feasibility of this innovative approach. So, what does this mean for the future of drone technology? Well, let's delve into it. The successful flight of the XQ-67A drone signifies the feasibility of the platform sharing concept, where the same chassis can serve as a foundation for various drone models. This means that instead of starting from scratch for each new drone model, developers can simply modify and modernize specific components on the existing chassis. Imagine it as a set of building blocks. Once you have the base, you can add, remove, or modify the blocks to create different structures. This approach bears potential to streamline the development process, eliminating the need for creating a new blueprint for every mission-specific drone. The reduction in design and production time can lead to significant cost savings. This is crucial in an era where cost-effectiveness is as important as technological advancement. Moreover, this strategy could enable the creation of fleets of drones that can carry out multiple missions autonomously. Think about it. A fleet of drones built on the same chassis, each designed for a different purpose, working together to support crewed fighters. This could revolutionize warfare, disaster management, and even exploratory missions. In conclusion, the CarMaker model offers a promising solution for affordable, efficient drone development. To recap, the Air Force Research Laboratory's successful flight of the XQ-67A drone demonstrates the potential of this platform-sharing approach. This technique, borrowed from the automotive industry, aims to streamline drone construction, reduce costs, and enable the creation of large fleets of autonomous drones for various missions. By modernizing specific components rather than redesigning from scratch, this strategy could truly revolutionize the future of drone technology. What are your thoughts on this innovative approach? Feel free to share your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.